this week's Mondays with Madison. This week I'm joined by Jericho Sims and today we're going to talk about basketball and his life beyond that so keep watching. All right Jericho before we get started why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself. Hey I'm Jericho Sims. I'm a senior on the men's basketball team uh, and I attend the University of Texas. You grew up in Minnesota in a very athletic family with your dad and I believe it's four of your older brothers playing college sports. So how did growing up in such a sporty family influence your athletic journey? Well, um, I was playing ball from a young age and you always grow up and your brothers are a big inf influence on you, mm -hmm. you know, and they kind of, I got to see sort of what they were doing before I, I got into sports. Mm -hmm. you know? Definitely sports role models to follow after, which is really cool. For high school, you went to a smaller high school called Cristo Rey Jesuit High School and broke the record being the all-time leading scorer in the school history, which is a huge honor. And then your senior year of high school, you were the number one basketball player coming out of Minnesota. So what was your high school experience like and how was that transition going from a smaller high school to such a big university like Texas? Well, um it's just a night and day experience because you know, coming from a small school then coming to Texas which is a, a large university you're on campus and there's no no more going home mm -hmm. you know it's kind of like a big sleepover and whatnot mm -hmm. but yeah it really it's really a different experience night and day um, in terms of also the level of competition as well and when you get to the college you're a D1 athlete and there's gonna be different demands of you as well mm -hmm. Especially coming from out of state, that transition is harder. So it's been a smooth one for you, it seems like. So now jumping into your Texas career, you played in all of your games freshman and sophomore year. So what was it like coming into Texas your first two years here and playing as much as you did? Yeah, it was a great opportunity for me. And we've had a really good team every year. Uh, good guys, that good teammates that were very, very connected with each other mm -hmm. and whatnot, so I would say that. Mm -hmm. And then your junior season, you received an all Big 12 honorable mention, and you led the team in rebounding with an average of 8.2 rebounds per game, which is awesome. And then you unfortunately hurt your back, which I know a lot about also with my back injury. So what was your rehab like and the determination through the adversity to get back on the court for your senior season? Yeah, well, uh, as far as my back goes, it was already hurt my sophomore year. Mm -hmm. um, I, it was just, I didn't really know what was going on with yeah, it. Yeah, it so, got worse and stuff. Yeah, it got worse. So mm -hmm. it's, it was a very really slow po uh, process. Mm -hmm. So after my last um, game of my junior season, which was, I believe, at, at Texas Tech mm -hmm. or Baylor, one of the two, I think it was Baylor. Uh, that was my last game. And from there on, I was just wearing a, uh, a back brace and I was out for around four months. Mm -hmm. So once I did get back, I got with the trainer and started doing a lot of uh, core exercises, mm -hmm. right, I'm sure. Physical therapy yeah, for days. <laughs> so the training room, yeah, I, since I've been here, I've really lived in there and mm -hmm. really took in what those guys are t uh, telling me to do and how to take care of my body. Mm -hmm. so. And it makes you appreciate the game more now that you've yeah been injured and see it from a different perspective for sure. Right. Now this being your senior season you started in all 26 games and your best game was stat wise across the board versus Texas Tech but your guy, you guys as a team swept Kansas which is a huge accomplishment for you guys. So what was your senior season like as a whole? Uh, it was great. I would say as far as winning games and making it and really reaching certain milestones because we won two championships, mm -hmm. Maui in the beginning of the season and then the Big 12, of course. So I'd mm -hmm. say it was a great way to go out and besides, you know, the NCAA tournament, which is unfortunate, but it happens to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. and we're, we're, we're still proud of ourselves. As you should be. Like you touched on, the Big 12 championship tournament win, that was Amazing. So how do you reflect on that game and tell us what it was like, the feeling to just win that championship? 
well, it was really weird, of course, because we're in a bubble mm -hmm. and just different from every other year. Um, not a whole lot of people were thinking that we would win that, but you know, we're the underdogs. Yeah, we're mm -hmm. proud that we pulled it off. Mm -hmm. In most recent Texas basketball news, Texas got a new head coach, Chris Beard from Texas Tech. So what are your thoughts on that hiring move? Well, I think that with Shaka starting off, he gets an opportunity to go home uh, to Wisconsin where he's from. And he's going to get welcomed with open arms there. Mm -hmm. And then on the other end, Chris Beard um, obviously has a lot of success with with uh, Tech, this program that he's coming from, and I know that a lot of his recruits speak highly of him and people that he's worked with in the past, which is great. And he has roots here at the University of Texas as well. So um, I think that it's a win-win for both guys. And I'm um, mm -hmm. happy to have him here, um, and we can see where we, where we go from here. So. Mm -hmm. Now that your senior season is coming to a close, how do you reflect on your time at Texas and what is your favorite memory that sums it all up as one of your favorites? Well, one of those memories is really my freshman year summer. Um, when we went to Australia, we played four games and in Sydney, Cairns, and then Melbourne, Melbourne. And those are just very, very fun places to go. Yeah, what a cool um, experience. Yeah. Even got to go out on a little cruise ride as well. So that's awesome. Yeah. And beyond Texas, what are your goals with basketball moving on from here? Well, starting off, I just wanna. I'm looking forward to entering the draft eventually, mm -hmm. and then yeah, hopefully, hopefully get to play professional. Now we will go into our person behind the athlete segment, where we learn more about Jericho outside of the basketball court. So. Jericho, you have recently gotten into farming and agriculture. So why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Well, I've always had an interest in it. And about a year ago, me and my old mentor from uh, a place I used to work at, we together put our money together to get a, a little plot of land out in Senegal, actually, uh, where he's from. So I'm interested to see where we can take that and with COVID going on this year, it's been hard for people to really go out and, and work that land. So I'm excited about it. That'll be really cool to see where that takes you. You are also a trumpet player. So tell us a little bit about how you got into that. Well, I really like jazz music and it's something I've got into over the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. and I thought to myself, well, I, I like this style of music. Mm -hmm. Why don't I try it myself? So yeah. trumpet being my favorite instrument as of, as of late, um, I actually got myself one. But uh, I'm missing a part on it, so I can't really give you any, anything <laughs> right now. We'll get there one day. Well, Jericho, thank you so much for coming on Mondays with Madison. I loved having you. Thank you. So please like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel for new videos every other Monday. So with that being said, I'll see you next video. See, see you later, later sports, sports fans. fans. Oh, that was so cute. <laughs> Good job, Jericho. Keep it Am I in the frame? You're in the frame. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. Oh, Hi. It's yes. <laughs> We can restart. Yeah, <laughs>